What is up you guys, my name is Selena, and today's going to be a new tutorial in After Effects showing you guys how to use the Rotor Brush tool to create cool transitions between clips and I don't really know what the name for this could be, but this is a tutorial inspired by Gibson Hazard. He has amazing edits and his journey is so inspiring. I'll leave his channel in the description, you should definitely check him out, but let's get started with the tutorial. So for this effect, you're going to kind of need a certain type of footage. For this tutorial, I'm using this clip with my sister walking through a door and it's like completely white inside and I thought this would be the perfect clip to use this effect so that I could put my second clip in the door and transition into that but you can definitely create it with so many other types of footage like I know Gibson Hazard uses like the jumbo screen at concerts and stuff and uses either the rotor brush tool or masking to mask out the the jumbo screen and like transitioning through clips hopefully with this you can gain some inspiration and use it in a future edit but let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so I have this footage of my sister walking through a door and then my top footage, which is gonna be revealed through the door is this Ferris wheel little time lapse. But we're gonna keep the eye off for that other clip in the beginning. So let's work with my bottom clip now. So what we're gonna do is use the rotor brush tool and you're gonna wanna keep the quality at full so we can use the rotor brush tool very precisely. And then basically we're gonna use it to kind of paint the parts that we want to reveal the Ferris wheel. So I'm doing it on all the white parts. Um, I'm not doing it as perfect as I would for an actual edit because it kind of takes like a lot of work to make it super precise, but I'm basically just trying to get all the white parts. And if you made a mistake and you like added too much, you can hold Alt and it'll turn red and then you can erase that part. And also you can hold Command and move your mouse to make a bigger brush size or smaller. And then you can press command and the right arrow key to go frame by frame and adjust anything that doesn't look okay. Um, but the rotor brush tool will already like automatically try its best to mask out what you have already made throughout all the frames. Okay, so once you scrub through and you go a couple frames and it looks pretty good, you can add some feathering so it has a cleaner edge. So now we're going to go back to our regular composition and then you can see that... What we have here is all the white parts, but we're going to want to invert it, so we take that away. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to press Command D to duplicate this clip, and then for our bottom one, we're going to delete the rotor brush, so we have a copy on the bottom with the normal clip, and the second one has the rotor brush effect. So now we can go to our Ferris wheel and turn the eye back on so we can see how this looks, and then we're going to drag it to our second line, so it's going directly in back of what we wrote or brushed. So now you can kind of see the Ferris wheel is in back of her and the door. Um, and obviously my masking was not looking so well. But, you know, we're going to work with it. It's going to be a pretty fast transition anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now let's go to the part of the clip where we started our roto brush effect. And we're going to press Command D and then delete the beginning part of the clip so that we just have the ending. I'm actually gonna just drag it a little bit to the right because I want the rotor brush to start a little bit later. So this way we can kind of manipulate where we want the ferris wheel to start appearing. Now let's go and press T for opacity and in the beginning of the clip we can start it at like around like 39 or 40 ish. Press the keyframe button and then we can go like a few frames forward and bring that all the way up to 100. So it slowly transforms into that clip. By the way, my quality is back at quarter, just so that this uh, rendering time will be faster, but don't mind the quality, it's just because it's at quarter, the rotor brush looks way worse than it actually is going to be. Now what we're going to do is we're going to command D to duplicate that ferris wheel, and we're going to bring it up to the very top line, and then we're going to delete the beginning part until the last opacity keyframe that went all the way to 100%. Now we can go back to our second layer with our rotor brush clip, and then we're going to adjust the scale, and you can adjust the position if you want, so that it zooms into the door. So we're going to go to the beginning and press the keyframe button for scale and position, and then we can go right where this clip meets the full ferris wheel clip and then scale in towards the door so it looks like it's zooming into the door and also adjust the position. So now if we zoom in, it goes kind of slow so, so you can bring the keyframes closer together. So it fades in and then zooms fast. 
and you can kind of adjust the keyframes to make it however fast you want. Um, the faster you make the effect, the ne less noticeable your rotor brush mistakes are. But if you do make it perfect, it'd be pretty cool if you can make it a little bit of a slower transition. So that's kind of it. But one thing that you can add is like a cool little like glitch right before the transition. So what you can do is go to your third video line with your Ferris wheel and you can extend it out a little but then create cuts within it and so you can shorten it very shortly and then create spaces so that it kind of flashes in the beginning and then goes into the transition and you can definitely like really customize it like you can add some cool RGB glitch effects with this or I don't know make it super cool but yeah that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys